AbsolutePoker.com. You in? Welcome back to the House of Pain on the World Poker Tour. We are watching Kasim Deeb pray as he desperately bluffs Gus Hansen. Look at Gus Hansen here. He's really got a tough call. He's got the best hand, but I promise you, when you're sitting in that seat looking at a 270,000 staring you in the face, your two queens don't look too good. I just can't believe the courage of Kasim to re-raise it raises when he didn't catch anything. Believe me, Kasim's got a lot of heart. I told you if he's got chips, he's a player. He is a poker player. And he calls. And he's calling. And he wins the pot. He says, you win, but look how Deeb shoots his eyes over there to see what he's got. He's very curious as to what he's got, and he's stunned right now. I mean, I'm telling you, he is stunned looking at that hand. Queens are good. He knows he let out and bet on the flop with nothing. He knows he gave him a free card on 4th Street. He knows he check-raised it and can't believe the guy called him with just two queens and a five kicker. What a call handsome man. you got to take his hat off to him. He took his time. He analyzed that play, how the betting went on that pot. He paid him off for two queens there. Vance, I think it was a great call. It really was. Right, well, he was obviously outplayed. He just, uh, Gus played it brilliantly all the way because Kasim made an interesting play, too. These guys have been going toe-to-toe -to -toe all afternoon, and the momentum has shifted back again only after one hand. Just when you think Kasim is in, he seems to be out. Gus is on the button again here. He has a pretty good hand, 10 queen off suit, but he's on the button. you got to figure he's going to raise this a little bit. Raise it. Raise it. And he is going to come in and play this pot. Gus raises the pot 90,000. He comes in for 90,000 on the button. And look at this. Deeb has picked up a monster. He's picked up ace king in the blind. This is the hand Deeb's been waiting on. And he wants to get Gus back real bad. I've all in. He's gone all in. He's chomping at the bit. Yuanda folds, and now Gus is up to another decision here. Now, it's going to cost Gus about a quarter of a million to call this raise. You know, I think that the interesting thing is that Gus doesn't really have much of a hand, but I think he may just call because he just um, wants to shove it in his face. Gus calls. We got a pot. Well, it's ace-king against queen-ten. Ace-king against queen-ten means Freddie Deeb is about a two-and-a-half-to-one favorite in this pot. Nuts. Queen, oh, queen, and the no. flop comes ace-queen-queen. Queen. Tremendous for Gus. Gus has flopped three queens. Freddie Deeb needs an ace. The jack comes off on the turn. Doesn't matter. No. Deeb needs an ace to stay alive in this tournament. He needs an ace. Now, a deuce comes off. Freddie Deeb has been outdrawn. He's out of this tournament in third place. A good sport. He shakes Gus's hand. Gus has won that duel. Look at him. That's the third time Deeb has got his money in, in a big favorite position, and he's lost three times in that spot. Now, that's tough to take. Great effort by Kasim. Went in with a better hand. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Kasim played great poker. I'm telling you, he played very unlucky on three or four hands today, or he'd have had all the chips. It just shows you timing is everything, Vince. Tell me about the caliber of player at the final table. Well, the guy that won the last hand from me, he played very bad, in my opinion. I would like to play this game with him every day for the rest of my life. If he plays like that, he could never beat me in the long run. Five Diamond World Poker Classic, 146 players began. And on day four, they were down to six. Scotty Wynn was the first to go. Then Chris Bigler and John Hennigan. Finally, Kasim Deeb was eliminated by unlucky cards. That means the last two players, John Yuwanda and Gus Hansen, remain to duke it out for the title. Well, we're down to the final two, but before we continue, the director of poker operations at the Bellagio, Doug Dalton, is leading a procession of beauties and nearly a million dollars in cash out on a silver platter to put right on the table so these players can see the cold, hard cash, Vince. 
Yeah, this is gonna make them really excited. Almost a million dollars wrapped up in rubber bands, put on that table, makes it become even more of a reality. Now this is exciting. That's a lot of money, a lot of cash. And this time they're really playing for that cash. The difference in one pile and the other pile. I've never seen that much money before in my life. And that's the beauty of poker, it's a cash business. Yeah. These guys are like 30 years old. The winner of this is gonna get nearly 600,000. Don't feel too bad for the loser. He's gonna get over $286,000. Well, how sweet is life at 30 years old when you pick up a half a million dollars so easy? It's not bad at all. Okay, we're back to the action. We've got the cash on the table, the trophy on the table, and the final two participants in the Five Diamond World Poker Classic. Annie's are 3,000, blinds are 15 and 30,000, and now we're going to do battle. The money's out there, the cash is big, but the truth is money comes and goes. These guys want to win that title, that trophy that spot in poker history. And here we go. You want to inherit the button. Now the big blind is always in front of the button, so the small blind that's on the button will have to act first. Okay, here comes John Yuanda. He's going to be the first to speak. He's going to limp in on the button. He's got seven, eight. Now here's Gus in the big blind. Notice Gus didn't even look at his own cards until... Johnny had raised. He's going to raise. He's raising with the ace high playing heads up. You want to limp in on the button. Sensing weakness, Hanson raises. Now it looks like he's getting out chips. He may want to take a flop with this hand. He's got a 7 8. He's got position. This is bet 60,000. Sure enough, Yuan is going to see a flop. He calls him. Here's the flop. And the flop comes ace ace three. Hanson has flopped three aces in this pot. Now, he's thrilled with this flop. What's going through his mind now, Vince, is how do I play this to get the maximum return on my money? Should yeah. he lead out? Should he check? Should he trap? I would expect to check from him, so maybe he can trap him into Johnny Yuanu into betting. He's leading out. He's betting this he's hand. He's flopped it. three aces and betting. He only bet 30000 a very small bet into that pot. Yuanu quickly folds because he had nothing. But I find that pretty interesting that he bet that hand. Yeah, I'm surprised at that, too. Maybe he wants the perception of that no matter what, he's not going to slow play. Maybe he's setting him up that way. Well, what's interesting about this is, out of the four players have been eliminated, Gus Hansen has knocked out three of them. Yuanda has knocked out one. So between them, they've knocked out every player at the final table. And now they're going to come down to see who knocks each other out. Gus inherits the button. And here we go. Whoa, look at this. Hansen has picked up two kings on the button, playing heads up. Just a monster. And he raises the pot up to 95,000. He comes in for 95,000. Well, that's huge. A huge hand, and he, and he doesn't play it sneaky. But now look at Yuanda. He's got ace jack. He also has a big hand playing yeah. heads up. How much is it for me? This is going to be interesting to see what happens. Gus has raised this pot. He didn't slow play the kings. The question is, is Yuanda going to call or play back over the top? He's thinking about what to do. I don't think there's any chance he's going to fold. Gus keeping his eyes down, doesn't want to give him any tells. No, but I guarantee you one thing. He's hoping he does something like raising back right here when he's staring at two kings. Raise. Gus has got to love this. Look at Gus looking at him. Mm -hmm. Look. I guarantee you inside he's jumping with glee right here. They're playing for some big stakes. The difference between first and second is about $280,000 difference. And the championship title here. Don't want to make a mistake. I'm all in. Gus re-raises all in in it's one second. He didn't wait one moment. He just moved all in quickly. Whoa. He's got to figure he's in front. I mean, he didn't even hesitate. He didn't try to trap him. He didn't do nothing. He just said he was all in. Just quickly put all his chips in the pot. And now Yuanda has got to figure out, is he bluffing me, putting the move back on the top of me? Now, at this stage, Yuanda still has well over 800000 left. So he's got plenty of chips to play the tournament if he folds this hand. But if he calls and loses, he's out of the tournament. Now, Yuanda's got a tough decision here. He's seen a lot of bluffing by Gus. He's got a hand that's not so bad. It's normally a good hand heads up. 
I call. Looks like he's going for it. John, you won the call. She goes all in. Oh. Gus has set him up earlier with having junk all the time that he almost has to call. He said he's calling. Tournament director Jack McClellan is counting out the chips. God, Here we go. This is happening really fast. I never expected Gus it. Gus feels good right now. We thought it might last a long, long time. It took us forever before we lost one player. And now when we get heads up, it's only going to take two pots. The tournament could be over unless John Yuanda gets lucky and outdraws Gus Hansen in this pot. John Yuanda smiling. Will he still be smiling after he sees Hansen's cards here? If Gus wins, he's a champion. If John wins, he's got the chip lead. Look at that look on Yuanda. Oh, no. Powerful blow to the stomach for Yuanda. John knows he's overplayed this hand now. He's got ace jack. He's up against two kings. Gus is about a 70% favorite to win this pot. Boom, oh. he flops the top set. It comes king 10-4. Gus way in front. But now you want to catch a queen to win this pot. That's true. An inside straight throw. He's got four catch cards to catch to win this pot. Here we go. A five yeah. comes off. He needs a queen. He's a major underdog right now. Otherwise, Hanson will be the tournament champion. The river is a seven. Not going to do it. Gus Hanson has won this tournament. He had to sweat it out. Gus Hanson played magnificent poker. Gus Hanson from Copenhagen, Denmark, our champion, runner-up John Yolanda. A dramatic finish to this great tournament that we've had. Gus Hanson wins the Five Diamond World Poker Classic here at the Bellagio in Las Vegas. Fantastic performance by him. He's won an entry into the World Poker Tours Championship event. He's feeling about as good as you can feel right now, but man, this is every poker player's dream. You have a pair of kings and you flop a set and you win this kind of money. He wins $556,000. Champagne to the winners. Our director of poker operations here at the Bellagio, Doug Dalton, is going to present the trophy to Gus Hansen now. Gus, congratulations on being the first winner at Bellagio Five Diamond World Poker Classic. Thank you, Oz. It was a great tournament, and, um, well, I'm just happy to win it. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame him. Fantastic event, fantastic day of poker. We're looking forward to the poker season coming up, Vince. What a great game. Yeah. And this is just the first event of an international series of tournaments on the World Poker Tour. So be sure to come back next week and every week until the World Poker Tour Championship. We'll see you there.